This is a Sri Lanka Broadcasting Corporation. The news edited by Catherine Pereira and read by Lavani Vijayatunga. First, we take a look at the headlines. New maternity hospital constructed in Karapitiya will be opened by President Rane Vikramasinghe on the 27th of this month. Heat felt by human body rises to caution level in four provinces. Unemployment will be eradicated by developing the agricultural sector. Etihad Airways will increase its flights to Colombo from 1st of May. In news overseas, Ukraine-Russia war, Ukrainian commander-in-chief eyes a leadership shake-up. Those are the headlines and now let's move on to the details of the local news. New maternity hospital constructed in Karapitiya will be opened by President Ranil Vikramasinghe on the 27th of this month. Minister Dr. Ramesh Patirana said that this is a fully-fledged maternity hospital in South Asia. The minister made these remarks while participating in the 11th Sua Udana Mobile Health Clinic in Gaul. All development activities in the hospital will be completed by the year 2025. The minister also reiterated that all other hospitals in the Gaul district will be developed. The temperature felt on human body is expected to increase up to caution level in some places in the northwestern, western, southern and Sabagamo provinces and in the Mannar district according to the Department of Meteorology. It means fatigue is possible in cases of prolonged exposure to heat these days in these areas. Heat cramps and heat exhaustion are also possible and extensive activity in external environment can lead to heat stroke. Minister Mahinda Amaravira says that unemployment in the country can be eradicated by developing the agricultural sector. Cultivation of Kiri Samba will be expanded in the Hambantota district in the future. There is a high demand for local rice in foreign countries. Therefore, sufficient stock of rice should be produced to meet the demand. The minister made these remarks while participating in an opening ceremony of the Agri-Technology Exhibition in Hungama. This is a news from the Sri Lanka Broadcasting Corporation. And we continue with more local news. Etihad Airways of the United Arab Emirates will increase its flights to Colombo from the 1st of May. Currently, 10 turns of flights are being operated weekly. This will help to promote tourism industry among the Middle East countries. Minister Bandula Gunavardana says that the lands owned by the Railways Department should be managed properly. The Station Plaza concept is being proposed in this year's budget for the investment purposes successfully. The first phase of the modernization work of the 100km Northern Exp- Railway line from Anuradhapura to Omante has already been completed within a period of five months. And to conclude the local news, the headlines once again. New maternity hospital constructed in Karapitiya will be opened by President Ranil Vikramasinghe on the 27th of this month. Heat felt by human body rises to caution level in four provinces. Unemployment will be eradicated by developing the agricultural sector. Etihad Airways will increase its flights to Colombo from the 1st of May. And that was the local news. The main news story is brought to you by Siddhalepa Vedamahatma. The main news story for this evening, the Agrarian Development Commissioner's Office says that the government has already distributed 11 billion rupees as fertilizer among farmers for the paddy cultivation in the Maha season. 15,000 rupees per hectare has been deposited in farmers' accounts to cultivate paddy in the Maha season. 98% of the money has been deposited in the farmers' accounts. And that was the main news story. The main news story was brought to you by Siddhalepa Vedamatna. And in Washla this evening, our correspondents say that devotees who are visiting Atugala Rock in Kurnagala to pay homage to the Buddha statue are facing many difficulties due to the indecent behavior of some tuition class students. The devotees request the relevant authorities to provide solution to this issue. And that came to you in Watch Light. Coming up, World News. Headlines of the World News, Ukraine-Russia war, Ukrainian commander-in-chief eyes leadership shake-up. Israel's war on Gaza, 17 killed in continued Israeli attacks on houses. Ghana's ECG cuts electricity to parliament due to 1.8 million debt. Those are the headlines and now let's move on to the details of the World News. 
The commander in chief of Ukraine's armed forces has signaled that he will replace some military leaders on the Eastern Front. General Alexander Tsvik Saskaiskersky said that after three days of work, it had become clear why some brigades were managing to hold off Russia's attacks while the others had not. It comes after Ukraine withdrew its troops from Avdivka, a key eastern town besieged by Russian forces. President Volodymyr Zelensky said that the decision was made to save lives. Avdivka has been engulfed in fierce fighting for months and it has been a battlefield town since the year 2014 when Russia backed fighters seized large swaths of eastern Donsk as well as Luhansk region. At least 17 Palestinians have been killed and dozens wounded in Israeli air strikes targeting three houses in Dar al-Bahala in Anjabalia. A United Nations team has found many injured in Thursday's Israeli attack on Palestinians awaiting food aid have gunshot wounds. The director of Al Auda Hospital says 80% of the wounded brought to the hospital had been shot. The bodies of three more Palestinians killed in the food aid massacre have been recovered, bringing the overall death toll to 115 with some 760 wounded. The state-run electricity company of Ghana on Thursday cut power supplies to the parliament over a debt of 223 million Ghanaian kredi. The outage interrupted a debate on the president's state of the nation speech. A video shared by local media showed MPs in dim lit chamber chanting "Dum so, dum so," which means power outage in local Akan language. Local media reported that a backup power generator restored power to the chamber a few minutes later. And that was the world news. Development news. And in development news, Yakala Public Library, located in the Gambha Municipal Council, will be developed with all facilities, including modern technology, equipment, and books valued at six million rupees, has been given by the Gambha Municipal Council to this library. That was the development news. Moving on with sports news. Sri Lanka Junior Badminton team left the island to participate in the South Asian Junior Badminton Championship. The team is comprised with eight sportsmen and women. The tournament will begin tomorrow in Islamabad and will end on the 7th of this month. That was the sports news. Business news coming up. Go ekak tiyana youth ticket life again change ticket niyam eta set karna. Aswa agena dekha puri na habe karna. The all new NSB Ithrumitru account NSB I am a plan for your dream Business news sponsored by National Savings Bank the safest place for your money Uber in Sri Lanka has introduced new charges for food distribution services. The aim of this move is to maintain an efficient service. The new price between 25 rupees and 125 rupees is effective from the 29th of February. That was the business news. Economic news follows. Business news sponsored by National Savings Bank, the safest place for your money. Go ekak tiyana youth ticket life again change ticket niyam eta set karna aswa agena dekha puri na habe karna youth ticket niyam eta set karna friendship eta menna the all new nsb ithrumitru account nsb i am a plan for your dream In economic news calling of applications for the second phase of the Aswasma welfare beneficiary program will end on the 15th of this month. The government hopes to increase the beneficiary families up to 2.4 million. That is economic news and the weather report to conclude. Weather report And finally, the weather report: showers or thunder showers may occur at few places in the Kalutara, Ratnapura, Nuere area, Gaul, and Mathura districts in the evening or night. Mainly dry weather will prevail elsewhere in the island. And before we conclude the bulletin, let's get back to the headlines once again. New maternity hospital constructed in Karapitiya will be opened by President Ranil Vikramasinghe on the 27th of this month. Heat felt by human body rises to caution level in four provinces. Unemployment will be eradicated by developing the agricultural sector. 
Etihad Airways will increase its flights to Colombo from the 1st of May. In news overseas, Ukraine-Russia war, Ukrainian commander-in-chief eyes leadership shake-up. And with that, we conclude this bulletin of news. Now it's back to your regular Saturday evening host, my good friend Chantima, on the other side of the glass panel to keep you entertained.